I'm starting this vlog a little different than my normal vlogs. So it's 3 p.m. and we're shooting in Encinitas right now. I just shot some content at the beach. I had like this whole vision. I had an outfit planned and a location and I think it came to life, um, fingers crossed. But I used to always do that and I think that's key to staying inspired and like not having a burnout with creating content. Just creating content for fun is like so important and I honestly really love it. That's why I do what I do. So it reminds me why I'm doing this. One of my goals is to start my own brand and that's why because I just want to create content where I have all of the creative direction and all of that. Lauren's getting us lofty. He's literally about to walk in right now. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Got our lofty. The sun's actually out. I'm starting this vlog here because <laughs> the sun comes out at like 3 p.m. now, which is better than before. So we're making never. progress. It's location number two. It's so pretty. Oh, and a Levi too? Oh my god, this is swag. Okay, dinner tonight, steak and noodles, and then I have a watermelon olipop. Okay, happy Monday. We're gonna go get a facial today. I'm so excited. It's been a little over a month maybe two months actually the last time i went was right before my birthday so looking forward to it here's my skin before i've really simplified my skincare routine since my last appointment i've just been doing like vitamin c sunscreen and moisturizer during the day and then at night i've been alternating retinol every other night which before i was only doing it every few days and she told me i could do it a little more so i feel like my skin has improved i'm excited to see what she says about it and what we're gonna do today Okay, we just went and got some coffee and went on a walk. This is one of my favorite hole-in-the-wall coffee shops in La Jolla. I haven't vlogged since I got my facial. There's been construction outside the apartment, so I just haven't been vlogging at home. I have to shoot for a brand, and it's so nice out, so we're gonna bring you guys along. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Just shot at that little yellow house with my yellow shoes i showed you guys the coral ones and i had to order the yellow because i just love yellow are you hiding it from me <laughs> no, I'm just... Okay, we ended up going to the beach after we got lunch. We went to La Jolla to shoot, Encinitas for lunch, and then we went to the beach in Del Mar. So we went to three different areas. I always get asked what my favorite areas of San Diego are, and I would definitely say those three are my favorite. They're all just like cute beachy towns, and that's my favorite. So we're actually going to like, grab dinner tonight. So I wanted to touch up my makeup a little bit. Since we just did so much. We were in the sun, shooting, went to the beach. My skin is feeling so much better. It's like so smooth. I think my favorite part about facials is when they shave your face because 
I feel like quit doing that at home. It really makes your makeup go on so smooth. So we want to try a spot in La Jolla. There's like this Italian place that opened or I kind of want to do sushi. My favorite sushi in San Diego is Sushi Nikosan. It's in La Jolla Cove. The other spot we're looking at is like right um, next to it. It's right next to Puesto. I'm just using the Merit Minimalist Stick. It's like a foundation concealer stick and it's so convenient for touching up your makeup. I'm really bummed. I didn't like vlog this week as much as I would like, but I'm excited because the sun's supposed to be out for the next week. It looks promising, so hopefully I'm going to have a lot of content. I honestly didn't do anything this week. I just worked from home and like I've been working on something that I kind of gave you guys a hint about in the beginning of this video. But I'm in like the very beginning stages of it, so I don't even want to talk about it, but that's a hint for you guys that watch my youtube because you guys mean the most i love you i think i want to start planning a trip to new york for like late summer early fall and also to like maybe go see my family also if you're new here i'm from kentucky my family lives in lexington kentucky i moved out here for college so i try to go home um like once a year now but i used to go home quite a bit when i was in college i've been out here for like seven years now almost eight and which is so crazy to think about like i always dreamed about living in california i actually lived in california for a little bit when my dad was in the military but we didn't live in san diego we lived in the desert so it was a much different experience but whenever we would go to san diego i was like i'm going to live there i always get dms from people who want to move to san diego or like they're thinking about it and they're asking me like if it's worth it and honestly my answer is 100 percent i think there is just so much to offer in San Diego. Obviously, like, depending what you do for work, I feel like there's just so many cool job opportunities in San Diego, though. There's so many brands here. And overall, I find the people are very friendly in San Diego compared to, like, other places in California. It's probably different when you, like, live in OC or LA, but when you're just visiting, I find like people aren't that friendly. I probably will just wear my hair up. I don't know, let's see. Mm. So we recently got a Jolie shower filter. If you've seen them, like their ads and stuff. But since we got the filter, I swear the first time I used it, my hair was so soft and my skin felt soft i noticed such a difference and apparently the water in san diego is like extremely hard so it's definitely a investment that's worth it i need to take my hair vitamin i have a hair appointment on tuesday and i'm so excited to show her my hair i feel like my hair is the healthiest it's been and you guys know i got my extensions out at the last appointment and i was honestly so scared but i love my hair without extensions like i don't think i'll ever get extensions again and i really like the color i feel like i just want to brighten where i have brightness i don't want to like add brightness to the top i love a rooted look okay perfume but I love a rooted look and I am just excited to see what we do. I have inspo. I have an inspo pick and it's actually my friend. So she's beautiful and she has beautiful hair. Um, if you can see, I want like a rooty but like very bright blonde. I'm so excited and I'm definitely going to vlog getting my hair done. I've been so patient. I was like you do not need your hair done yet even though i wanted it and it's always right before i get my hair done that i'm like i love my hair i don't need my hair done but i know i'm gonna want it 
for summer and i was thinking about cutting it kind of short i love my hair short but now i'm kind of getting like cold feet i'm just shocked at how much it's grown so I, that makes me not want to cut it because i'm like could it get like really long uh but we'll see i'll bring you guys along for that okay i think this is the final makeup look i made such a mess i'm going to pick out an outfit what do i wear okay i want to wear this top it's from dip and daisies which is the suit i shot today so cute okay i actually went with these dulce vita platform sandals so cute i love the back of this top we ended up finishing a roll of film today, so we're gonna switch it out. These are my two faves, Kodak Gold and then Portra 400. house hunting guys okay, we just got back from the farmer's market i got a package from summer fridays this is their blush and lipsticks and then i got these jeans from rolla's i already tried on this pair because they're so cute they have like these little pockets i finished happy place it was so cute i cried happy tears at the end i highly recommend this one for summer it was just like a cute feel good summer book i honestly love any book that is taking place in like the east coast east coast summer is my favorite and i went and picked up this one today same author that i'm obsessed with this was like the only one i saw that i haven't read yet so i'm excited i've been trying to make like healthy-ish desserts and i'm making some chocolate chip cookies found this recipe on tiktok i'll put it on the screen but we'll see how it turns out make the best healthy oatmeal chocolate chip cookies they're so soft yet a little too Lauren is obsessed with cookies I've never met anyone who loves cookies more than him so I'm attempting to make these for him tonight teach her how to bake guys <laughs> that does look good. here's the dough Okay, here they are. Let's put them in the oven. Cookies are done. I'm a little nervous. They look good, but I feel like I overcooked them. These ones were on the top rack and they look a little burnt. Um, I can't decide if I want to. I just don't like how they're balls. Maybe I should have like smushed them. <laughs> She's gonna keep trying. To get better, she missed on a couple of key ingredients. There's no texture, no moisture. Okay, they're a little... The texture's a little off. They're a little special. Yeah. <laughs> she you didn't can, have you any... can have all of those. Right. Were these the top ones? Yeah. Can I see the video for the, uh, the one you, like, copied? 